and class it is six laps of distance on the pole position the 44 car of leon sneller outside of row number one the number nine that is andy was inside row two the 14k it's brian clausen outside of him the 50m of marnie DeBoer. brandon jerns runs the back of the field in the number 19 six laps sportsman he race number one and we'll be going green right away green flag in the air for one and only he race i'll make that one of two he races for the sportsman class here tonight we've got them side by side for the race lead on lap number one can we make it three wide off into turn number two we cannot brian clausen out to the early race lead andy was zorick running top side in that white and blue number nine with the green number nine running on the top side looking to take over the race lead here on lap number one of heat number one it's was brian clausen leon Skeller. Endurance and Marnie DeBoer as we fly around the Rapid Speedway. Get along, little doggy indeed. Sportsman, he raced number one of two on the Rapid Speedway as we speak. Ten total sportsman cars in the house here tonight. Those unfamiliar with the sportsman class, a, uh, well, just about every track in the Midwest has a sportsman. But a sportsman really means something different at just about every track in the Midwest. Here at the Rapid Speedway, a sportsman, an affordable entry-level class. That's what we consider it. Real fun to watch if uh, you've always wanted to try uh, stock car racing. Can't quite afford it or uh, not comfortable. Don't have the experience. Get yourself a sportsman. It's affordable and a great entry-level class to learn it. Brian Clausen walking away with this one in that 14K machine. Andy Wazorek running in the second spot in the number nine. Brandon Jurens up to that third position in the number 19. It's a side-by-side -side battle for fourth and fifth, respectively, between Leon Sneller and Marty DeBoer. And now Brandon Jurens making a play for the second spot to the inside of Andy Wazorek. Wazorek will clear him down the front stretch. It's a three-car making a four-car battle for a second on back. Brian Clausen is checked out from the rest of the pack in that 14K machine. Andy Wasorek in second. Here comes Marty DeBoer. Marty DeBoer in the 50M in the third spot. Brandon Jurens rolling down on the bottom side. Looking to get to the inside of DeBoer for that third position on the white flag. It's DeBoer in third. Jurens and Sneller rounding out the pack. Ryan Clausen cruising off into turn number three. Andy Wazorek, the second position car, just coming off of two. He'd race number one to the 14K of Ryan Clausen. Ryan Clausen picking up the heat race. Then Marty DeBoer charges to second. Andy Wazor comes up with the third spot. Brandon Jerns in fourth. And Leon Sneller rounding out your top five. Time here tonight. The racing uh, should help that mood. Tracks looking good. Looking forward to some great racing uh, here tonight in the Rapid Speedway. As we come to the green flag, second and final heat race for the sportsman class. Scotty Too Hotty and Rick Egan up front on row number one as we go green. Keegan off to the early race lead in that orange 1E machine. Ryan Crone will move into the second spot in the 14. Scotty too, honey. That's Scotty DeYoung in the third spot. Roger DeBoer to the inside. Looking to take that third position away from DeYoung as DeYoung drifts up the track. DeBoer now into third. DeYoung in fourth. And Katie Croc at the back of the pack. The 15K out of Laverne, Minnesota. That's Katie Croc making an appearance here tonight at the Rapid Speedway. Brian Crone taking home the A feature uh, last Friday night. Looking home to uh, take home a heat race uh, here tonight. Second and final heat race for the sportsman class. Brian Crone, your race leader. Rick Egan running in that second spot. Roger DeBoer, your top three. Scotty DeYoung and Katie Croc putting on a battle for fourth and fifth, respectively, out on the track. 
Got a couple of B features coming your way here tonight. B features for the Hobby Stocks and the B Modifieds. As of right now, we're planning on running them at the conclusion of the heat races before intermission. Heat B features before intermission. All A features to follow intermission here tonight. That is the uh, tentative schedule of events for tonight here at the Rapid Speedway. Brian Crone checking away. The number 14 machine off of turn number four. He's your race leader. Roger DeBoer in that second spot just entering four with Rick Egan hot on his tail. Crone, DeBoer, Egan, Katie Crock, and Scotty DeYoung. Rounding out the pack, second and final heat race for the sportsman class. As we mentioned, Brian Crone picking up the A feature win last Friday night. He'll take the white flag. One more trip through the rapid speedway and a heat race win will be Brian Crone's the number 14 machine. Roger DeBoer, Rick Egan, Katie Crock, and Scotty DeYoung. Second and final heat race for the sportsman class. Checkers fly this time by for the number 14 machine of Brian Crow. Corona that heat race win. Roger DeBoer in second. Rick Egan in third. Katie Crock comes home in fourth. And Scotty Tuhati rounds out your top five.